We took the test last time and it told us that we are not in the greatest of shape because to be completely honest I'm not and I'm kind of curious what's in store for us what's the continuation of the test does this test really convey our path in life because I don't think I am in the best of condition lately and I wanted to learn more so without further ado let's just jump right to it and continue the test before experiencing the test hypothesis rising it is highly recommended that you've played its prequel the test first before venturing into this experience yes i've played the game before you will stand to gain a lot more from this experience if you've played the test first and this examination will also make a bit more sense as it carries on from where the last examination left off the font is really hard to read i would like to urge you to go and play the test now before venturing forward and follow the instruction listed throughout the game as you will certainly get a bigger benefit overall by taking the test in the order they were meant to be taken in yeah would you like to close this game now so you can have the opportunity to play the test first? You will not get a chance to exit the game until the experience is over. If you chose to continue now, I've already played. Yes, we've already played the test. Wonderful news. We can continue. Will we be unlocking our potential? Let's see. Oh, there's a character now, a skeleton man. Hello and welcome to my office. It's truly a pleasure to see you here today. Yes, hello there, skeleton man. You look kind of menacing. <laughs> Please excuse the mess. I haven't had a chance to clean up yet. Oh my god, it's full of blood. It's not that creepy. <laughs> now, I don't want to take up too much of your time to be with the blabber blabber and nonsensical speak. So I'll just get straight to the point. Sometimes we have to ask ourselves life's tough questions. There's one question in particular I'd like for you to ask yourself. Are you happy? Am I? Am I happy? And when I say happy, I don't mean content. Being content is great, but it's not the same as being happy. Does this guy know something? Are they planting a spyware after the first test? Because I feel like they're spying on me. It's not even further into the game, but I feel like I'm being watched right now. Oh my god. I want to help you. Are you a therapist now? Or are you going to kill me? Okay. I'm, I'm not going to put too much trust on you, but I think it will... Let's just see how the journey takes us. I want to inspire you to be the best that you can be. I want to inspire you to be the happiest version of yourself. I want to see you grow inside and out. Now, how do we accomplish this? You might be asking. Good questions. Allow me to explain. 
I'm going to ask you a series of questions and you are going to answer them with 100% entire honesty. Okay, I know the drill. We gotta answer yes no question like last time. And when I say 100% entire honesty, I mean 100% entire honesty. Okay, okay sir, I got it, I got it. Think about it. You want to be happy, don't you? You wouldn't want to do something so bold as to tempt fate by lying, would you? Just remember, if you lie, the only person you're lying to is yourself. The only person who will suffer from this is you. And believe me, you will suffer. Not to mention the fact that whether you tell the truth or not, I'll know. But that's another story. Let's be moving on, shall we? We've wasted enough time explaining what we're going to be doing. Just remember, we all want to be... <laughs> oh my god, what's up with my pronunciation? <laughs> Just remember, we all want to be good people. We all want to give the answers that we feel lend the most desirable human traits within ourselves. But sometimes good people do bad things and sometimes we don't always have desirable traits as humans. I cannot express enough just how important it is to be truly honest while answering these questions, no matter how uncomfortable the truth may make you. Now, it's time to get into the real meat of this experience. It's time for you to get the advice that you deserve. As you read questions and scenarios during this process, I want you to create your own circumstances and build your own bridges to arrive at the answer that best suits your own psyche. If you've never experienced the scenario being asked of you, then simply imagine that you have and try to assume how you might feel in that situation. I'd like to invite you to pour a glass of water, sit back, and relax as we unfold your fate and the secret to overcoming the next hurdle in your life. We're going to start with some basic, easy questions. Yes, and here we go. Oh my god, it's the same atmospheric ambient noise in the background. If you answer these questions twice, your advice may change. It's not just about answering the questions, it's about many different variables. Many different factors are at play here, including the amount of time taken to answer proposed questions. With that being said, it's far more important to actually take your time and think about how honest of an answer you're giving before you give it. Oh my god, the font! <laughs> I hate the font! It. I don't know what they're going for, the style that they're going for, but it's just so hard to read. <sighs> Whatever you do, do not rush the process. Time is your best friend here. You'll see what I mean soon enough. Do you feel uncomfortable right now? I was not feeling anything in the last experience but since he told me stuff that probes me in the wrong way I feel slightly uncomfortable so I gotta say yes I feel slightly uncomfortable just slightly Are you nervous? Oh, not really to be honest just a little bit uncomfortable do you feel cold? It's so warm in here. Look at my attire. So, let's just say no. Do you feel sad? Yes, I feel sad. 
Have you ever hurt someone because you were hurting, even though they didn't deserve it? Yes. Do you crave acceptance by others? Yes. Have you ever lost a loved one? I'm pretty... Disconnected from the world? I can't say... I have... But... Breaking up with someone counts as... Losing a loved ones, right? So... I don't know... Does it count though? Let's just say it counts I cried like a bitch <laughs> So yes I have Due to A break Do you know what heartbreak feels like? Yes, absolutely Do you believe in demons? Do I believe in demons? Yes I am that demon Hmm do you believe in curses? Because I do. I do believe in curses. I believe... Words are like... Prayers. If you say some words... Many times enough, it will come true. So, words have powers. I do believe in curses, so yes. Would you consider yourself to be spiritual? Yes, I consider myself to be spiritual. Are you afraid of dying alone? Am I afraid of dying alone? Well, I'm not afraid of dying alone. Like I said in the previous videos, I'm afraid of living too long that I see the friends and family die in front of me <laughs> like it's I'm not afraid of dying but I'm afraid of seeing other people dying so no I'm not afraid of dying if there was an undeniable proof that a ghost was ha haunting you would you continue to live in your home yes I would still live in my home because I can see ghosts and I'm not afraid of ghosts when you are afraid of ghosts they will be the bigger man so you shouldn't be afraid of ghosts yes have you ever seen an object mysteriously move without being touched yes do you believe that it's possible for a game to summon supernatural forces into your life without you knowing it. Nope, I don't believe so. Would you like to make more friends? Would I like to make more friends? I guess so. Because <laughs> I have practically no friends. Because my friends live overseas. So, <laughs> I'm practically alone. <laughs> right now would you consider yourself to be a good friend nope do you feel lonely i don't think i feel lonely i'm just too comfortable living alone so let's just say i don't feel lonely do i no oh what what is that <laughs> oh my god <laughs> it kind of creeped me out it's night time here and the ambient the kind of character portrayed in the screen it it kind of creeped me out because my room is dark too <laughs> do you make friends easily no i don't really talk oh it's my cat you tend to avoid drama where possible yes let's grab our cat hey look here 
We got company. You gotta be staying with me. Okay? Okay, kitty. Okay, kitty. You wanna stay with me? Oh, oh yes. Have you ever had a near-death experience? I wouldn't say I have, but... I used to ride my bicycle a lot going places and I was almost run down by a truck. <laughs> I don't really feel the sense that I was going to die or anything, but let's just say I have. Let's just say I have. Do you like horror movies? Yes, I love horror movies. This is all very interesting. I've got my cats, so you wouldn't scare me, okay? <sighs> Why is it that stuff like this curse me out when it's at night? What? What are you looking at? She's she's looking at something. I, I I I swear to God. I swear to God. Have you played the test? Yes. Why are they so active at night? The cats, I mean. That's the spirit. Have you played the horoscope? No, I haven't played that yet. But I would like to play if i have the time give it a whack i'm totally not biased or anything okay do you watch porn do i do i watch it would you consider yourself to be a hard worker <laughs> i work hard but i don't consider myself to be a hard worker because i feel like there are more people who work harder than me so but i work hard too i'm not a lazy person to say so let's just say i i, I do I, I do do i do i work hard but for now i work really hard okay so so let's just count it as a yes do you have a low opinion of yourself? I do. Would you consider yourself to be a confident person? I have low self-esteem. So, no. Would you help an old lady cross the street even if you were running late for an appointment? If I see the old lady struggling to cross the street, then I would gladly help her to cross the road if she's not struggling i wouldn't be because she can do anything herself so if she's she's struggling i would so yes would you kill all of your neighbors pets just to save one of your own it depends on the pets. If they are like annoying, I would. I don't consider stuff like birds, fish, um, snakes, or those exotic animals to be pets. <laughs> I consider them to be more like pests. So, if they were so annoying to me and I have, I mean, if it's necessary, I would, I would. So, yes. Have you ever tried to smother yourself in a pillow to see if you could actually suffocate yourself? Yeah. Have you ever been caught dancing when you thought no one was watching? I did it on purpose, so yeah. Have you ever tried to roll your eyes back so far just to see if that really gets stuck? No, that's just stupid. 
Have you ever played a practical joke that you regret pulling on someone? Yes, I have so many regrets. Are you streaming live right now? Is this considered as streaming? I feel like I'm just talking in front of the camera. It's not live, right? So, let's just say it's not live, but we are recording something. No. Are you recording this gameplay session, right? Well, how did you know? So, yes. If I told you that I was watching you play this game right now, would you believe me? No, I don't believe you. You are just a program, right? If you've left a comment for me at any point in time, have read your words. Does this bother you? Nah, it doesn't bother me at all. If you've left a comment for me, does it make you feel positive that I've paid attention to what you've taken the time to write? Mm. Do I? I care shitless about people. So, let's just say I don't care about you. <laughs> Do you understand that no matter what, I appreciate you. You're just a program, but let's just say yes. I really do. Are you afraid of snakes? Nope. Snakes are cute. And that is a fact. Do you believe in magic? Nope. I don't believe in magic. There are only science. Have you cried in the last month? Well, I was crying playing the the strain game. So let's just say yes. Do you have a hero? Mm, no. I don't have a hero. I like villains though. Do you typically learn from your mistakes? Yes, I do. Do you enjoy outdoor activities? Do I? Sometimes I do, but most of the times I enjoy being home. Mm, let's just say I don't. No. Would you consider yourself to be lazy? Would I? I don't know, man. The stuff that I am doing recently is a hard... is a lot of work. So... Is this considered lazy? Well, I was editing lazily enough. But I need... I needed to be consistent, okay? So... It's not lazy! It's smart working. It's not lazy, it's efficient. So let's just say uh, I am kind of. Do you sometimes find it difficult to stay motivated? Yes. I struggle with motivation, finding motivation. Do you put the needs of others before yourself? Yes. Would your family and friends describe you as kind? I guess they would describe me as kind. But they don't know the other side of me. Have you ever cheated in a relationship? I've never. But it sounds tempting. Have you ever been cheated on in a relationship? I have. Would you consider yourself to be judgmental? No. I believe in... Parities? Indifferences? Yes. I don't think there's wrong or right to 
everything I try to be more open minded I see Are you a hero to someone else? Well, some of the subscribers have told me that I've pulled them from their depression So let's just say I I am considered a hero So, yes Do you love animals? Yes, I love my cats very much Have you ever found a family member on Tinder and wanted to kill them with a super like just to make shit real awkward? I've never found my family on Tinder but I've found my friend on Tinder so no yeah um me neither do you enjoy drinking alcohol oh i do but i don't drink excessively i drink in moderation sometimes it's not every day that i got to drink alcohol because they are expensive and i don't like the cheap ones so let's just say i do but sometimes are you intoxicated right now nope i am very sober well that makes one of us <laughs> do you like the phrase sneaky snake what is a sneaky snake it just sounds like a rhyme I don't understand so let's just say no because I don't have any clue on what that is are these questions a bit strange to you yes do you have a vivid imagination no I am terrible at imagining I am terrible at imagining things so no do you feel uncomfortable in large social settings yes i am very very introverted would you consider yourself to be antisocial yes because I, I am really bad at social interaction sometimes i would rather hide in a corner and not be seen by anyone but that's just me yes do you hold a grudge for long periods of time yes have you ever urinated in public like seen because i've urinated i've taken a piss in bathroom stalls they are a public place i suppose but it's not the public that you are meant to be saying like i urinated in front of audiences so no i don't know man it's just weird so no do you like pineapple on your pizza yes don't judge me i know some of you who are watching is judging me but don't judge me <laughs> i knew i liked you haha <laughs> would you consider yourself to be selfish yes i do do you think you've got a big ego i don't i have a very tiny puny little ego no i don't <laughs> would you consider yourself kinky mm. have you ever messed into a fish bowl ew disgusting no it's disgusting well then you can't be that kinky <laughs> would you consider yourself to be religious nope would you consider yourself to be temperamental would i i'm more of a sentimental person 
But I do throw some tantrums here and there. Yes? If you had to kill someone to save your own life, but you knew they didn't deserve it, would you do it? Yes. Interesting. Would you sacrifice your own life for a complete stranger? I don't know. I am not that altruistic in the sense. Let's just say no. It's not that worth it to lose your life for a complete stranger. I'm more realistic of a person, so let's just say no. Even more interesting. Have you ever been inside of a burning building? Never. Have you ever been to a funeral? Yes. If you could attend your own funeral before you died, would you take the opportunity to do so? Well, that's an interesting thought. But if I were to die, I would like just... I'm not curious about anything, okay? I would just die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not making any sense right now. I guess I'm kind of curious what it would be like to die. <laughs> not in a morbid sense. Just. Yeah. Kind of. Yes. If you could see into the future, but you were told that it would only. Reveal the absolute verse of what's in store for you. Would you still look? Yes. Because knowledge is something good for you. If you had the power to stop time, would you use it to do something you know you shouldn't do? Yes, I would. <laughs> If you had the power to remove one person from Earth, never to return again, would you use it? It depends, but if I have the power, uh, I would use it, yes? If I told you that I understand you better than you understand yourself, would you believe me? Nope, I don't believe you. I understand myself better than other people. If someone threatened to kill you, would you first respond to be react in violence? Of course I would. I would stand up for myself. Well, first I wouldn't react in violence. My first response is to ask why would they want to kill me? So it's not violence first. Violence is probably the second option. I mean, the second response. So, no. If a stranger stole money from you to support their drug addiction, would you forgive them if they apologize to you? No. If a family member says something nasty about you behind your back, would you confront them about it directly? If anyone said shit about me behind my back, I wouldn't confront them because I really hate confrontation. I probably would just avoid them in the future in every social interaction that I got to have with them. I would just... Nah, it's not worth it, so no. If you had to eat raw squirrel brains for three days to stay alive, would you do it? If I have to, then yes. If you woke up tomorrow and none of your family remembered who you were, 
Would you choose to live and start a new life? That's interesting. Out. If a homeless man was clearly sick, freezing and utterly miserable in the rain, would you be willing to give him your clothes and walk home naked? Yes, I would. If someone accidentally hit you in their car, but you suffered no injuries whatsoever, would you still be upset with them? Yes, I would. Have you looked for any hidden meanings or messages within these questions? No, I couldn't care less. Maybe you should have been. Well, I can s work out the word help in the background of your office. Are you wondering if there's a deeper meaning to all of this other than just simply answering questions after questions? Not really. I just wanted to see what, what you have to say about me. Miracles happen every day. Do you agree? I agree. It's a miracle that I have lived this long. Umbrellas aren't worth lugging around and you don't mind getting rained on. Do you agree? Yes. Red is a prettier color than pink. Do you agree? Yes, I love red too. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag blowing in the wind? Is this Katy Perry's reference? The song? Do you ever feel like a plastic bag? <laughs> no. Eating in front of people can be awkward. Do you agree? Yes. Rings used as ceremonial wedding gift are so outdated. Do you agree? Yes. We should be using chokers next time. Because it's more sensible to have their next 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 <laughs> uh yes it's so outdated who created that ring did you realize that the first letter of the last six questions when combined spells out the word murder i wouldn't care less you no do you know why that is? No? You tell me. Does that make you slightly uncomfortable? No. Not at all. Are you going to stop paying closer attention to what may have got yourself into? No. <laughs> I couldn't care less, man. Do you realize it's too late to turn back now? No. Yeah. Nah. Oh! Oh! What is that? Oh... You hear someone in your room? Well, it's just you. No. You see the shadows closing in? Nah. It's just my cats. Do you feel like you're being watched? There's a camera here, so yes. Did you look around your room a moment ago? Nah. Couldn't be bothered. Do you like long walks on the beach? Sometimes? Yes. Do you enjoy giving gifts to people? I don't. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't enjoy giving gifts to people. I like receiving gifts, though. So no. Have you ever felt like giving up on life? Do you love your family more than you love yourself? <laughs> no. Do you have a best friend who's clearly better than the rest of your friends? Yes. Do you think there's some kind of conspiracy behind the coronavirus? Oh. 
Oh. It's too relevant. Yes. Do you believe that you are human? What am I? A ghost? Yes. If you could turn invisible, but you could never be visible ever again once you decided to use your power for the first time, would you ever use it? Yes. If you knew someone was about to rob a convenience store, but you knew that they were doing it to feed their family, would you stop them? Nah. Couldn't be bothered. If you were stranded on a remote... Remote? Remote? If you were stranded on a remote island with a stranger and you were both starving to death, but you found a secret stash of food that they didn't know about, would you share with them? Yes, I would share with them. If you could turn into an eagle for one year, but you wouldn't be able to turn back into a person until that one year has passed, would you do it? For what reason would I turn into an eagle? No, I would probably die before that one year had passed. So no, if you had the opportunity to earn riches beyond your wildest dreams by fighting a grizzly bear to the death, using nothing but a machete and an army helmet, would you do it? Of course I would do it. It's for the money for the rest of my life. If you had to pick one basic food item to eat exclusively for an entire year, would you choose potatoes? No! Potatoes are too bland. No, it, it wouldn't be potato. I would want to live out of natto. <laughs> Oh my god, people will be so disgusted right now. If you don't know what natto is, it's a fermented bean. It's sticky, you mix it with rice and mustard and some soy sauce. And you mix it until it's gooey and you put it in your mouth and it's so nice! <laughs> but that's just me. If pizza screamed in agony every time you bit into a piece, would you still continue to eat pizza? Yes, I would still eat it. <laughs> if your best friend got bit in the genitals by a highly venomous snake and the only way to save their life was to suck the venom out of their genitals, would you do it to save them? Yes. <laughs> Was that question difficult to answer? No. <laughs> Do you feel mortal? Yes. Do you enjoy loud music? Yes, I do. Do you feel awkward when you dance in front of others? Yes. <laughs> Do you suffer from an anxiety disorder? How did you know? Yes. Do you ever feel depressed? Yes. You're not alone. Do you feel relaxed? I do. Do you think you have a guardian angel watching over you? No. I have the devil watching over me. <laughs> do you ever hear your name being called when no one could have called it? Yes. I'm going to take special note on that one. Do you always look both ways before crossing the road? Yes. I look both ways, even up. I don't know why. <laughs> it's just a special quirk that I have. <laughs> Do you wash your hands every day? I should have, yes. Do you feel uncomfortable using public restrooms? No. Is winter your favorite season? It used to be my favorite season, but lately I am leaning towards spring. Because it's just so cozy in spring. So let's just say no. The cold really got to my skin sometimes. It's 
I I don't enjoy being cold all the time. So no. Do you know anyone named Josh? Are you are, are you tempting me right now? Yes. Are you wondering why that last question is relevant? I'm I'm slightly creeped out because I know that person well. Yes. Are you allergic to any animals? I'm actually slightly er allergic to cats. They're pure, to be specific. So yes. Have you ever thought about an animal in a sexual way? I've never felt like I ever feel like that way. So let's just say no. Have you ever been in love? Yes. Would you consider yourself to be artistic? Yes. Would you consider yourself to be dominant in a day-to-day -day life? I don't understand the questions. To be dominant? What? No? You feel like that you've got too much time on your hands. I don't feel that way. I feel the opposite, to be honest. I feel like time is so... So short. I want to have more time that I can create more content to YouTube. So, no. I've got so little time. Can you be easily intimidated by others? Yes. Are you easily excitable? No, I guess. Do you enjoy solving complex problems? If I can solve the problem, then yes. Do you have a difficult time relaxing? Yes, I do. Would you consider yourself to be high maintenance? No, no. I don't care about stuff like that as well. Do you trust easily? No. I have a difficult time in trusting people. So no. Would you consider yourself to be an honest person? I don't know, man. No. Have you ever told a lie? Yes. So many lies. Have you ever lied to your best friend? I have. Have you ever lied to your family? Of course I have. Have you lied about any answers during the session? Well, I haven't. So far. Are you wondering why all of these questions have to do with lying? Yes. This is all very useful information. Are you a people pleaser? No. Do you enjoy being the center of attention? No. Do you feel like you've got a good sense of humor? To be completely honest, I think that I am a really boring person to say the least let's just say no <laughs> do you frighten easily not really there's something right oh i feel like there's going to be something in front of the screen Well, that was odd. I wonder what that was about. That's probably a pretty good place for us to stop the simple segment out of the questionnaire and move on to the more gritty questions. This next set of questions will not be yes or no answers. 
The next portion of our session will be filled with various scenarios that put you smack dab in the middle of vital choice making. What? I don't understand what you're trying to say, but we'll see how well you handle your options as you delve deep into each scenario. Remember, the key to all of this is to answer honestly. Let's get started. You're home alone. It's dark. And it's storming outside. All of a sudden, there's a knock on your bathroom door. There's someone in your house. What do you do? Grab the closest item that can be used as a weapon. Ignore the knocking and hope it goes away. Ask who is it and wait. Boldly open the door to reveal what's on the other side. I feel like if it happens to me, my first train of thought I would grab the closest item that I can use as a weapon because I don't know who there is so yes that would be my first instinct very interesting choice you meet a homeless woman on the street she asks you for money you find it within yourself to give her all the spare change you have just as you do, a homeless man approach asking if you can spare some change. What do you do? Tell the man you've got no change left to offer. Tell the homeless woman to share with the man. Tell the homeless man to ask the woman for some of her change. Tell the homeless man that you'll get some more from somewhere. I would say that I have no change left to offer because I really don't so I kind of feel sorry but well that's that really now both your mother and your father fall incredibly ill to a life-threatening disease and there's only enough medicine and facilities to save one of your parents and time is of the essence what do you do? Give medical treatment to my father so he lives. Give medical treatment to my mother so she Split the medication between the two, even though both may die. I'd save the medical treatment for myself just in case I get sick. Well, I'll gotta split the medication between the two because I can't choose between father and mother. Yeah, that's, that's still possible outcome that I will do that doesn't surprise me you find a case of money tucked away inside of a dumpster inside there's 10 solid gold bars and a vial of mysterious liquid under the vial there's a note that says the cure for cancer what do you do turn the case into a professional entity so they can utilize it professional entity <laughs> What is the professional entity that you are saying about? Keep the gold bars, but give away the cure to cancer. Keep the cure for cancer, but give away the gold bar. Give everything in the case you for yourself and sell or use. What's that sound outside? That's a door slamming. Oh my god, I, I feel so uneasy. It's because of the music too, you know. Keep the gold bars, but give away the cure to cancer. What a wasted opportunity. Well, if it can save humanity, it would probably save me. Next time, I guess. I'm sorry, I know I shouldn't judge. You, you're stuck alone inside of your house and you're starving to death. You've completely run out of food and no one is coming to save you for weeks. The only potential source of food around you is your family pets. What do you do? Kill and eat my pets so I can survive 
continued to starve along with my pets. Attempt to cut meat from my pets, then treat their wounds. Oh my god, that's morbid! Let my pet eat me so they can survive until help arrives. This is not a good scenario to be asked. But it were to happen, I would continue to starve along with my pets. It's better to be starving. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> Your neighbor's home is on fire. A blazing inferno among smoke emits from the windows. You hear screams for help coming from within, but you can't see past the flames. No one else is around in sight. What do you do? Call the fire department and keep my distance away from the home. Start shouting for help and searching for somebody nearby. Run into the burning home to try rescue anyone you can. Walk away, there's nothing you can do. Well, I would call the fire department and keep my distance from the home because I don't see anyone from my sight. So, let's just say I would pick the first option. I like that. You're fast asleep in your bed when you're awoken by what sounds like a woman's muffled cries from somewhere in your room. You quickly realize it's coming from under your bed. What do you do? Immediately and <laughs> That's a bad option. Hide under your covers and wait patiently. Verbally, just call out and ask who's in your room. Jump out of bed and run out of the room immediately. It can be squatters and it's not safe to just be on top of the bed. I would just jump out of bed and run off the room immediately. Because I feel like if that were to happen, the first train of thought I will think of that there's a homeless person under my bed. It's not about the ghost or something I would be more scared that there is someone who could try and harm me so I would jump out of bed and run hmm. a man in a fancy suit approaches you while you're walking down the street he pulls a watch from his pocket and hands it to you he claims that when the watch stops ticking, it marks the moment your time runs out of on this earth. What do you do? Take the watch and thank him for the gift. Decline the offer for the watch and keep walking. Tell him that he needs professional help and to keep his distance. <laughs> Tell him you already got three of them as a toy in your happy meal. I don't like to take gifts from other people like for granted if i don't know them personally i feel like it could be dangerous to take someone's belongings even though they offered you so i would just decline them politely and walks away would you now you're sitting at home, playing a game on your PC, when all of a sudden, someone grips you and squeezes your shoulders firmly from behind. What do you do? Immediately jump out and turn around, scream and stay still in terror, spin around with a vicious elbow to whoever, whoever behind you, tell, tell them to squeeze hard as you could use a nice massage. It depends on how they squeeze my shoulder like i could knee i do need a really nice massage like oh, oh yes so maybe i will tell them to squeeze harder because 
I am too tired. Ha. <laughs> You're sitting in the bathtub trying to relax when a hand emerges from the water. What do you do? Jump off of the bath and run as fast as you can. Kick the hand and try to keep it away from you. Give it a firm handshake, maybe even a solid fist bump. <laughs> I like that. Push it underwater and hope that you get some free hand action. Oh my god, why? If there's something underneath the bathtub, I would jump off the bed and run as fast as, as I can, of course. Any normal human being with a brain would do. You get out of bath and immediately fall down into a deep dark hole. A man is standing above you, looking down, telling you to put lotion on your skin while he watches. What do you do? Get out of bed and immediately fall down. Scream for help. Start slathering yourself in lotion. Tell him you've got very sensitive skin and allergies. Ask if he'll come down and help apply the lotion. I just start slathering myself in lotion. Smart choice. I do need some moisturizers. You're sitting at home alone and all of a sudden your door slams shut. You see it before your very eyes and you know that no one is home and it couldn't have been a gust of wind. What do you do? Stay perfectly still and watch the door. Look for a weapon around the room immediately. Jump out and try to climb out of the window. Run over to the door and open it. <laughs> Why would I do that? Because it's perfectly closed door. So <laughs> I stay perfectly still and watch the door. I like that. Someone you've known for many years but have no attraction to tell you that they've had a massive crush on you for a long time. What do you do? Ask them out on a date. Who knows that what might happen? No. Tell them you're flattered but just not interested. Tell them that you feel dating might ruin your friendship. Ask if they want to be friends with benefits. No, 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 no. I'll tell them you're, I'm flattered, but I'm not just, not, not, just not interested. Ah, so you're one of those types. Yes, I am. Your dog starts randomly barking into the darkest corner of your living room. There doesn't appear to be anything there, but your dog insists on escalating to growls. What do you do? Try to calm your dog down by petting them. Stand and stare at the corner to see if anything moves. Walk up to the corner and extend your hand to feel for anything. Walk out of that room and ignore it entirely. Just try to calm the dog down. I'm taking note of that. Right. You see a massive spider in your room the size of your hand what do you do oh my god <laughs> oh my god no 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 burn the entire house down it's the only way to <laughs> no 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 <laughs> i would think like this <laughs> well i guess we're moving out now Ha! Well, it's not just me. I'm normal. I'm scared of spiders. They are not insects. They're they're just scary. Okay, they are a predator. No, 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 no. Spiders is a big no-no. Your closest family member tells you that they're a serial killer. What do you do? Tell them you don't want to know any more details. Turn them in to the authorities 
Ask them information so you can help them stay out of trouble. Try to convince them that they need help. Maybe they need help. Maybe they don't. Maybe they're just trying to save the day. Um, I wouldn't turn them into the authorities. I guess I'll ask them information so I can help them sh stay out of trouble. I see. If you found out that you only have one day left to live, what do you do? Tell everyone that I love them and to be happy, not sad. Do something insane and crazy, anything goes. Not tell anyone at all, just act as if nothing changed. Spend my time on my own, away from others. Oh, I don't want to spend my time alone. That's just me. Alright then, if one of your pets started speaking to you and told you that they've got a dire warning, that they were going to die if you didn't let them eat all the ice cream in the freezer, what would you do? Go lay down? I'm obviously way too high for this. <laughs> give them all the ice cream they can handle. Don't give them ice cream, you're not gonna fall for that one. Assure them that you'll protect them and they won't die. It's too obscure. I guess I'm too high for this. Oh, lovely. If all of a sudden you could start hearing other people's thoughts and the person next to you was thinking about mugging you and stealing your money, what would you do? Take primitive action and beat them up fast. Tell them you don't think mugging you is a good idea. Get away from them as quickly as possible. Ignore it. You don't know what you aren't. You don't know that you aren't just hallucinating. Uh, I just gotta tell them straight to their face. Well, they would probably be creeped out of me just talking about that thing that sounds reasonable your best friend comes to you and tells you that they just accidentally killed someone and they don't want to go to prison what do you do help them hide the body no i wouldn't help them hide the body because i don't want to get arrested report them to the authorities tell them that they're on their own, but you won't rat them out. Try to convince them to turn themselves in. <sighs> I'm torn between telling them that they're on their own, but you won't rat them out. But I would just do this. Oh no! You're driving in your car and you accidentally run someone over. You're pretty sure that they're okay, but the fact that their head is clearly detached from their body suggests that it's probably just wishful thinking. What do you do? Oh my god! It's one of the greatest fear that I have when I'm driving, I wouldn't want to run someone over. Call your best friends and tell them that you don't want to go to prison. <laughs> it's the same scenario that we have with our best friend and the last questions, but it's us this time. Then you solve it to the authorities, no. Drive away and hope nobody saw what you did. Try to hide the body yourself. If it were to happen, I'll drive away and hope nobody saw what I did. Interesting how that played out. I think it's time we move on to the next portion of our test. The following questions that shall be asked of you are 
Would you rather start questions? Imagine you've got a gun to your head and you absolutely must choose an answer. Okay. No matter how uncomfortable that may be, let's get started, shall we? Okay. Would you rather be loved by all? Fate by all? I guess it's better to be loved by all. Would you rather never get angry? Or never get jealous? I would rather not, not get jealous of others. Would you rather be held in high regards by your parents? Or by my friends? By my friends, of course. Would you rather live in space or live under the sea? If I were to choose between space and sea, I would choose the space. I don't want to live under the sea because that's disgusting. Would you rather donate your body to science or donate your organs to people who need them? I would rather just... Donate my organs to people who really need them. Because science, they're not doing anything. Like, it's temporarily, but I really think that we should help the ones that who really need them urgently. Would you rather go to jail for five years for something you didn't do, or get away with something horrible you did, but always live in fear of being caught? I would rather live in fee. Would you rather work at a horrible job that you hate but retire comfortably 10 years from now on? Or would you rather have your dream job but have to work until the day you die? <sighs> I would retire in 10 years. Would you rather every shirt you'll ever wear to be somewhat itchy or only be able to use one ply toilet paper one ply toilet paper i like my clothing to be comfortable <clears throat> would you rather have skin that changes colors depending on your mood or have tattoos appear on your body that depicts what you you did yesterday color changing skin it's cool would you rather shit every time you orgasm, but orgasm every time you see a dog? I'll take the orgasm. <laughs> I'll take orgasm shits for 5,000 Alex. If your partner switch buddies with one of your parents and the only way to get them to switch back was to have sex with one of them, would you rather have sex with your partner body or have sex with your <laughs> I wanted to answer if that happens. I would still have sex with my parents in my partner's body. Cause the body is yes, the body is that. Yes. Gotta answer what is wrong with you. Just answer the questions. I am answering the questions, alright? My partner. I mean, my parents, my partner bodies. That one had no bearing on your results. I was just curious. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've answered enough of these questions, as I'm sure you'd agree. You'd agree. We're going to end the test with a short series of final questions, giving simple answers. We'll get started now. Out of the following options, which number do you like the most? I would choose the seventh. 
Out of the following options, which color makes you feel the most relaxed? Um, I'll say it's black. Black is a really comfortable color in my book. Out of the following options, which creature are you the least comfortable around? Spiders. I hate spiders. Out of the following options, which flavor is your favorite? Vanilla! Mint is also good, but I, I will stick with vanilla. It's my cat's name. Out of the following options, which do you personally value the most? I value my freedom. Out of the following options, which could you most live without? Friends, I guess. Out of the following options, which statement is the most accurate? I'm brave. I'm caring. I'm smart. I am attract. I I guess I would think that I am brave. Out of the following options, which are you most afraid of? Living forever, losing my loved one, dying alone, dying immediately after the test is finished. <laughs> I guess I would be afraid of losing my loved ones. We're almost finished, but I've just got one final question for you. I, I think that's something is going to appear on screen so we best to be prepared have you ever punched no you really ought to try sometimes it can really take the edge off all right we're done here i'm through with you I'm just going to calculate your results very carefully i don't want to miss anything important Trying my absolute hardest not to judge you right now. Trying to keep this as professional as possible. I'm going to ready up myself for what's to come. Aha, here we go. Based on what you've told me, I've come to a conclusion. This is what I personally believe would be in your best interest to acknowledge, set in motion, and accomplish in order to climb the ladder to happiness in your life. First and foremost, I'd like to start with a blanket statement that everyone truly needs to hear. Something that is taken for granted far more than anything else in life something that has such an incredible unique irreplaceable value compared to any other thing on this earth yes and that my friend is the value of time time is the most valuable form of currency you will ever hold in life you can spend time on anyone doing anything for any reason. Now, time can be spent, time can be wasted, and time can be taken away. But time can never be refunded, time can never be earned back, and more time can never be gained. Imagine a bank account with all the money you'll ever get to spend in life. Now imagine not knowing how much money is in your account. Imagine going to the store one day to put... <coughs> imagine going to the store one day to purchase something you really need and the cashier tells you, I'm sorry, but you cannot afford that. As a matter of fact, you can never afford anything ever again. We only have so much time 
and we have no idea just how much or how little we truly have before our bank account runs dry and the fact that we get to decide and choose what we spend our time on just shows how truly special it is when someone spends their time on you so now that we understand the incredible value of time i'd like to make a suggestions for you personally on how i think you'd be best spending your time in order to achieve what you need most at this current stage in your life let's see here I'm going to be real with you here. Your biggest waste of time is that you spend more time thinking about doing things instead of actually doing them. How did you know? You get stuck in this infinite loop of paralysis by analysis where instead of actually carrying out a task, you spend countless time thinking about doing it or analyzing whether or not it's actually worth doing. But the only true way to ever really know if something is worth doing or not is to actually just suck it up and do it. Think about all of the time you've wasted by overthinking and procrastinating. If you were to add all of that time up, just how much time do you think you've wasted? Now imagine if you would've shut your brain off, stopped thinking about doing things and just done them. Think about how many great things you could've accomplished by now. Now that the tough love part is out of the way, listen to me carefully. It's so accurate. I'm thinking about doing stuff that it's so bad at times that I only think without realizing that I'm wasting the time that I spend to think. You've got so much life left to live and so much potential to do so many things. It's time to stop thinking and start doing. You're going to unlock a whole new world of opportunity and you're going to be on such an amazing path once you get moving. Don't waste any more time because you can either be where you want to be in three months from now or you can be looking back to three months ago and be exactly where you are now. Once you get the ball rolling, you're going to be a hell of a lot happier in life and I think you can already feel the truth in that. I think you'll be very surprised just how much of a positive impact this can have on your life going forward. I hope this information helps you achieve your goals. Your secret word is accomplish. Remember this word, this will come in handy. That's it? I kind of get the sense that I needed to do stuff from now on. Well, actually, I'm already doing stuff with my YouTube. I try to upload every two days or so i don't want to waste my time because i get it time is precious time is something that we have a limited time i'm not making any sense time is something that we have so limited time runs out so fast I'm getting old by this second. I will gladly take that advice and future do self accomplishment.
with my limited time that I have. That's it for today. I guess you know more about me now. <laughs> okay then, I'm going to make more videos. In the corner somewhere. That's it for today. Stay safe. Wear a mask. Bye.